Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So right now, we're in another corner of my beauty space because over here is where I keep my skincare fridge. And for today's video, I am showing you guys what I have in my skincare fridge. I've gotten a request to do this so much. You guys always want to know what I keep in there because some people just have trouble figuring out what to put in their skincare fridge, I guess, which I was a bit confused about as well until I realized I could literally just put anything I want in there that I want to be cooling and or whatever to put on in the morning or night. So I'm drinking some coffee right now. I got this mug at Target. I'll link it below. But you guys, I stocked up on coffee because your girl has got to have her coffee during this home, whatever it's called. Oh, also news on that. Our county finally just got to the orders to stay at home as in now it's like a must do because before it was just like suggested by the government but now our actual governor for our city has literally sent out an order that everybody has to stay home everything's shutting down um by the time this video goes up everything would have already been shut down the monday before this is posted or i might post this on monday whatever you guys understand what i mean so i mean i've already been pretty much staying home as much as possible for the last two weeks so I guess to me it's like nothing's really changing that much except I mean I don't know nothing to be honest okay, enough about that because this is not what we're here for I know this is not what you guys came here for but I want to show you guys what is in my skincare fridge which is sitting right behind me I did reorganize my entire beauty room so I will have a tour of that soon but in, for now let's go ahead and see what's skincare fridge so this is my skincare fridge this is actually from a brand called cool Uli, and they actually gifted me this I'm so excited and they gifted me a smaller one as well which I will be putting in a giveaway on my Instagram so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you want to win a mini skincare fridge all the rules will be on Instagram and everything I will put my Instagram right here for you guys to go check out so I got the 10 um the 10 liter i got the 10 liter fridge so this is way bigger than the previous skincare fridge that you guys saw that i had like over on instagram and stuff um so yeah this one's way bigger it fits all of my skincare the other one did not fit all of my skincare so i'm super happy about that and um yeah let's go ahead and open it so ah, this is what it looks like once it's open I'm all right so this is what we are looking at on this side uh first of all i have just some like masks some eye patches some more eye patches and a sheet mask by soap and glory i love this little pocket for my sheet mask because in my old fridge they literally would just lay wherever and go all over the place so now we're going to get into what is in this beauty so i love my skincare so i have a lot of skincare and um, I know that not everybody has this much skincare, so they do have 4 liter fridges on Kooluli as well. And so I will link them down below so you guys can check out everything they have. If you have less skincare than me, you could probably do with the 4 liter one. But the 10 liter is perfect for me because I have so much skincare. So the first thing that I have is this Acure SPF. Um, moisturizer i use this on the daily this kind of just protects me from uv light and the sun as you guys know the sun can be very very aging to the skin and damaging so it's important to always wear your spf um, next i have this moisturizer which i'm almost done with this is by glow recipe this is their watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer i do really like this however i find that my skin needs more hydration than this so i only use this before my makeup kind of as a primer on top of other skincare goodies so i have my oh so 
loved Watermelon Glow Mist by Glow Recipe. This to me is a must have. When I run out, I replace this. I actually have two in here because I'm that crazy about it. I have a total and complete other one and that one was actually my backup. This is the one that I'm currently trying to finish up. So I have two of those. I also have my Ordinary Lactic Acid um, at Plus HA. This is a serum or treatment as you would want to call it but this basically helps hydration and texture on the skin this brand is super inexpensive it's only like 10 to 15 dollars a product and it works so good so i've been using this nightly to help with my texture and to help with the dryness because i'm very very dry Next I have this baby right here. This is a the Garnier Water Rose 24 Hour Moisture Gel. I do really, really like this. It's super hydrating and it just feels really nice and the skin absorbs it really well. And I actually do enjoy this um, drugstore skincare product. So if you are looking for a drug, drugstore option, I would definitely check out Garnier. So next I have this. This is a newer product. This is by a new brand that I found called Fourth Ray. This is their rose face milk and when I tell you guys this has become a must for me. I use this every single day before my makeup. I use it um, pretty much after my moisturizer and everything. Like I use it. This is a step I do before my makeup. I use it almost like a primer I guess you can say but it's definitely like kind of like a moisturizer. It hydrates my skin so well and it feels so freaking soft. I cannot rave about this enough. They have a bunch of different ones. They have I believe a um, a whole line of these like different um, scents or I don't know what you would call it but you know what I mean like they have rose, they have strawberry etc so next i have one of my favorite face oils this is the drunk elephant marula face oil i swear by this if you put this on at night in the morning your skin will feel so freaking soft but basically this is like a mask you can tell this is well loved <laughs> i've used it quite a bit this is the drunk elephant baby facial this is basically kind of like a mask this has 25% AHA and 2% BHA, so that means it's going to help with texture. It exfoliates and it helps skin cell renewal, so that is the main reason for this mask. I like to use it when my skin is feeling a little bit dull. Um, this just kind of brings it back to life. So is, this is actually supposed to be used like a mask. You put it on, leave it on for 20 minutes, and then you rinse it off. I use this with my marula oil right afterwards. My skin feels amazing. So next I have another serum that I really love. Whatever my skin is feeling like patchy or anything like that, I love using this because it makes my face feel like glass. This is like that glass skin kind of a product. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum and uh, it says translucent and luminous and it has peach extract and peptide complex this is another product that i got in my boxy charm and i really love it i cannot get enough of this this is a newer product i have yet to try this came in my boxy charm this is the snow fox skincare true luminosity serum anytime i hear luminosity i'm just all over it so i'm so excited to try this in the future right back here i have a product that i've been pretty much preserving until i'm done with my lancome toner this is the um paracone md micellar cleansing treatment if you guys have ever heard of paracone i mean if you've been on my channel long enough you've heard of paracone because i really love paracone products and this right here is one of my favorite products from paracone overall this is so amazing at helping your skin feel refreshed and looking very very dewy i don't know how to explain this product but it's basically like a toner in a way it's a micellar cleansing treatment so you use it i like to use it after i wash my face i just kind of go in with a cotton pad all over my face for that extra cleansing because it is like a micellar water type of thing but i mean to me it's kind of like a toner in a way so this just helps me get that extra cleanse it also leaves my skin feeling very hydrated after i use it so that's kind of why i like it 
So yeah, it says uh, saturate a client pad and smooth over face starting with eye area to remove mascara and eye makeup continuing on to the rest of the face. So yeah, this is basically like a bougie micellar water, but I like using it to um, clean afterwards whatever's left on my face because I really like um, how it makes my face feel afterwards. Put all this stuff back now. Now my skincare fridge is kind of leaking from having it open. Oh my goodness. No, close me. Close me, I'm melting. Okay, moving along to this middle shelf here. First of all, I have this new baby that I've been using. This I got at Sephora. This is from the Sephora brand. This is their Rose Quartz roller and I love using this when I do like sheet masks or my under eye patches that you're seeing over here on the door I just like smoothing it over with this or just massaging my face with this it just feels so good and cooling especially in the morning I have my favorite eye cream this is the Dr. Brandt 24-7 retinol eye cream with ruby crystal complex I love how hydrating this is I have seen a noticeable difference on my under eye with this eye cream like literally when I use this my eyes don't look as dark and it's kind of crazy I use this at night this of course has retinol in it so you don't want to use this throughout the day without wearing uh, sunscreen so just keep that in mind if you plan on getting this and using it day and night even if you use this at night it's still recommended to use sunscreen in the day next i have one of my new favorite skincare items this is by lancome this is their um tonique comfort <laughs> this is basically a hydrating toner it has a acacia honey and I don't know what it is about this that makes my skin feel so supple and soft, but I really love it. And I can't go a day without putting this on my face, especially before my makeup. My makeup just goes on so much smoother when I use this. I just really like it, and I've never been able to find a toner that doesn't dry out my skin. Next, I have my watermelon sleeping mask. I use this once a week normally. I alternate between this one and my Too Faced one. And this just makes my skin extra hydrated, especially whenever it's feeling dry, like extra dry. Okay, lastly, on this shelf, I have my Ordinary um, Natural Moisturizing HA Moisturizer. This is incredible to use at night. It's very thick, so I definitely prefer it at nighttime because it allows for it to absorb. But this works wonders if you're dry. This really tiny proteiny polypeptide cream by Drunk Elephant. This was my favorite for a while, but then I ran out and started using other things. But I have this little baby one that I used to travel, and I actually decided to just finish it so it doesn't expire. And yeah, I really recommend this. I really like it. It's very, very hydrating. Right above that, I have a newer product. This is my Too Faced Pillow Cream, and I am so in love with this. Like, normally, I use the um, watermelon sleeping mask at night whenever I need extra hydration but recently I've been going more towards this night cream and of course you can use this and then use the watermelon glow mask as well together and I have actually done that and my skin just feels so hydrated like I told you guys I'm just I just have very dry skin so if you do not have very dry skin then you definitely don't need to put on both but I really love how my skin absorbs this product specifically and I love how this product smells I do have this Garnier water rose 24 moisture cream this is basically a more hydrating thicker version of this one this one's more like a gel so if you have oily skin i recommend that one if you have dry skin i would recommend this one this is a great um drugstore moisturizer i have this tatcha the silk peony eye cream and i really like how this feels it's actually a pretty thick eye cream and i'm not complaining because i have dry skin so if you're feeling like your under eyes are patchy this is a really great product for that lastly back here i have these facial radiance pads again another product i like to use if my skin is feeling dull this is by a brand called first aid beauty this helps exfoliate tone and brighten your skin so that's everything that's in my skincare fridge all the products i alternate with daily weekly these are basically like my top used products of course i have 
a little bit more skincare stored away um, that I use. Of course, there's no face washes or anything like that in here because, I mean, I keep face wash in my bathroom. This is pretty much my pampering fridge. This is what I like to come into my beauty room and just pamper my skin with. And so everything else, like cleansing products, are in my bathroom. So if you guys want to see, like... A collection or like how I store those and stuff you guys can just let me know in the comments section but for now that's everything that's in my skincare fridge I'm adding some cute stickers to this so let me know what you guys think if you think that's a good idea or if you think I should just leave it plain how it is but I just I've seen pictures of people with their cute skincare fridges with stickers on them and I don't know I just I was tempted to do that but um, yeah you guys tag me in your skincare fridges over on Instagram and don't forget I do have a mini skincare fridge giveaway over there so go and check that out all right guys that's everything for today's video that's everything that's in my skincare fridge thank you guys so much for tuning in if you stayed until the end leave me this emoji down below i'll let you guys get back to doing your skincare because it's very important and i will see you on the next video bye